What's up guys, Jester here, gonna be going over Sector 4, Mission 11, Encryption 2. Hacker, a little bit stronger when encryption has been set out for you, get by it. Alright, let's check out the source code and see what we got going on at the login area. And it looks like we are including from somewhere, so let's go in there and see what this one says. Here's our actual form, so this is the right area. Oh, and here is our encryption. So we need to decrypt this. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. It looks like it said it was going to be a function, so we're probably going to have to find a method of running this. And yep, it is a function. It takes the value s. So let's go over to... I'm going to use elegant, eloquent JavaScript. I'm going to clean up this because it looks really messy like that. We're going on, so we're taking the parameter s, we're declaring a bunch of variables. Uh, d is equal to an empty string, k is equal to zero, a is a new array, so we're probably going to convert the string to a character array. Um, for loop where i is 0 and while i is less than s dot length, so however long the string is, then c is equal to the character that i's number value is, so 0 is the first character and so on, and if c is less than um, 128, then c caret is equal to 5. And then we're adding to the string the um, c character code and if i plus 1 um, modulus 99 the remainder is equal to 0 then a at k plus 1 is equal to d otherwise D is equal to empty string. Nope, nope, D is equal to empty string after that. So we're just resetting it after we store it in the array. And then we are joining the two together at the end of this function by saying R is equal to A.join um, the empty string and D. And then I'm going to change this from document right to alert so that it will have a pop-up box with everything that's going on. Okay, now this other part that we have is the uh, password field that's being encrypted. The other part was the function part, and this part's the other part similar to one of the previous um, missions. And we can see that that actually is true because we have ew underscore dc, which is the function from this one, so it's running this function by itself. So let's go ahead and alert this one to us so we know what the encryption stands for, and then we'll let um, the other function actually give us the values. Let's see if I forgot the beginning quote. Actually, looks like we have to remove one. And that's going to give us all this. Now, this does not look like much, but as soon as we run this through that EWCS, we should be able to figure out what it means and get the password and the admin value. Thanks, guys. I hope this helped you.